It's really hard to believe that a new year has already started. To me, it feels like 2021 just flew by and we are already into 2022. And I can't believe how quickly time is passing. That being said, I'm not really quite sure why, but for some reason, the beginning of this new year, I've had a lot of problems just getting motivated to do art again. Um, it's just very overwhelming to me, and maybe some of you feel the same way. Which kind of got me thinking, maybe the reason is because I've kind of hit a burnout in my art. But those of you who have followed me, you know that I've been doing watercolor for over seven years now on this channel. And I've been doing a lot of projects related to watercolor, but I've kind of stepped away from dabbling in other mediums. And before I started this channel, I would dabble in tons of different areas. And um, I decided for 2022 to take a different approach and really just go with whatever my heart desired in that moment in time. So this year, one of my New Year's resolutions is to create art that I basically desire to do in that moment. And it might include watercolor, it might include crafting, it might include journaling, it might include something completely crazy um, that I've never tackled before. There's a couple of things that I have always wanted to try, but never had the guts to really try. And I'm thinking about doing those this year. And basically by opening myself up to explore different art mediums, all of a sudden I felt like this weight was lifted off of me and I really felt motivated to create again. Now, does that mean I hate watercolor or I'm going to just stop doing watercolor? No, watercolor still has a huge passion in my heart. And in fact, I have a couple of projects that I'm really excited to be doing with watercolor, but for some reason, I just couldn't find myself motivated to do them at this moment in time. I felt like I wanted to do something else first. And that is how this project came about. So another thing that I really wanted to get into for 2022 is more journaling. I've been working a lot with a counselor and just processing a lot. And a lot of that has come out in journaling. However, I could not find for the life of me a journal cover that I actually really liked. I saw a lot of different um, types of journal covers and some of them were really expensive. The ones that basically I liked were really expensive. And then some of the ones that I basically didn't like, they were more in the cheaper end. So I thought maybe for the first project of the year, I should just create a custom journal cover, um, and kind of kickstart my creative journey for 2022 with a custom journal cover. Now, I have never done this before, so this is a first time for me. So how did I actually do this? Well, the very first thing that I did is I basically gathered all of the acrylic paints and even chalk paints that I had in my house. I'm trying to just use supplies that I had on hand instead of purchasing new supplies, kind of keep the costs down um, and just work with what I had. So I had a couple of um, Art Folk um, brand acrylic paints, as well as just some other off-brand acrylic paints. But I found myself really, really liking um, the chalk paint, um, as well as the Liquinex. Um, I believe I'm saying that name right, the Liquinex um, Basics line of acrylic paint. I had several of those. And I found myself really drawn to those types of paints when I was working on this particular project. The next thing that I did was basically lay my journal flat um, because I wanted to get the entirety of the cover. And this, by the way, is a canvas cover um, journal, which will just soak up the paint very easily. It's almost like painting on a canvas um, with acrylic. 
but basically I laid my journal flat and then to prevent my cover from sticking, basically the paint on it, from sticking to my inside pages, I took two pieces of scrap paper that I had laying around and put those between the cover and the inside pages to basically prevent sticking. And the next thing that I did was just create a nice layer of basically paint swatching all over the top of my canvas cover. So basically what I did is I took the paint immediately from the tube. I didn't add any water or anything like that. And I was using watercolor brushes. And yes, I was using cheap watercolor brushes. I found that these brushes left less um, paint stroke marks they didn't allow the paint to kind of goop up as much as you would with a regular acrylic brushes. So I took basic, very, very inexpensive, um, I think it was Artist Loft watercolor soft bristle brushes and just took the paint directly from the tube and just started swatching away. And I will say I do recommend starting with your lighter colors first. So I started with white because I wanted kind of a white base in certain areas. And then I proceeded to basically my darker colors. So next I went to yellow and then I went to kind of my pink and finally my blue. Now, as I was laying down my paint colors, I noticed some colors weren't blending as easily as I desired for them to do, especially um, two colors next to each other. I wanted to have more of a smooth blend or mixture of the two colors. So what I would do is dip the brush in some water, just get a very little bit, you don't want a lot, and then basically blend those colors together while they're still wet on your canvas. And once I got basically a desired first coat completely covering the back and front of the journal, um, I let this completely dry before I moved on to adding patterns on top of it. And I think this is where it really started to shine and become more custom and just more unique, I would say. So basically what I did is once the paint had dried, like I said earlier, I just added a variety of patterns on top. I did circles and little dots, and um, I did it with a smaller watercolor brush with acrylic paint, chalk paint, as well as permanent black ink accents. Now, I specifically chose these particular colors, all of them for this particular project. Um, all of these colors were permanent, and I would highly recommend that Whatever paints or um, even inks that you're deciding to use on your canvas journal, I would highly recommend that you use permanent colors because let's say you're out and about and something might spill on your journal or you might lay it down on a wet surface. Um, this is going to prevent basically any smudging or losing of color or fading by using permanent colors. And that's partially the reason I did not use any watercolors um, and no gouache for this particular cover because I wanted to make sure that this particular pattern that I spent time putting on this journal would stay and not be removed in any fashion once it had dried. So yeah, that's kind of the gist of what I did for this custom um, journal cover. I will say this is a watercolor journal that I purchased from Amazon. It is only 90 pound paper, so the paper is not that great. So if you're thinking about doing more heavily water-based paintings, this is not a good journal to have. But it's more of a, I would say, a mixed media kind of, but still has that texture that can grab water. So I'm planning on doing some light watercolor illustrations in this and doing more goal centered as well as, like I said earlier, processing and writing stuff for my new year's resolutions or new year's goals and just kind of doing little by little, not really doing a huge chunk at one time and overwhelming myself. But I would like to know, do y'all do New Year's resolutions? I always do New Year's resolutions, um, but I kind of do more generic ones so that they're not very overwhelming. Um, 
and I can get them done and feel good about myself doing them. In fact, I've already um, completed some of this journal while I'm filming this. I've actually written some processing and stuff inside of it already. Um, but I am curious, do y'all do goals for the new year? And if so, what are they? And if you don't, why don't you do them? Do you get overwhelmed by doing rules or goals for yourself in the new year? Or do you do maybe monthly goals? Um, I'm finding myself liking more of the idea of doing monthly goals rather than yearly goals. So that's more of what I'm concentrating on now. So I have more of like a 30 day kind of goal um, for myself with this journal as well as just other things that I'm working on. But yeah, I'm curious, what is it maybe that y'all are doing for the new year? And especially for y'all who are trying to beef up or just spark some creativity to start 2022. So anyway, lots of love y'all. Happy painting and I will see you in the next video.